Everyone loved the SP, but me, I wasn't a big fan. You know why? He didn't use double A's. The SP was a great improvement over the GBA, but nowadays, that lit screen does not hold up. In this video, we'll grab an IPS screen and case kit. Is it an easy mod, and is it worth $50? Welcome to Team Mandori. Subscribe. I am waiting. This is what came, and this is what's inside. We decided to grab the purple Donkey Kong case because it looked pretty funky. We get two tri-wing screwdrivers, an IPS screen, and we get this lovely letter from uh, High Speed... Uh, it reads Dildo. Let's check this thing out. Ooh, a sticker. So when it comes to the case, this actually looks pretty good. We get the D-pad, the buttons, and at first glance, there seems nothing wrong with this. It does feel a little light because there's no electronics inside. So I'll be needing a donor SP. Luckily I have two lying around, and even though I like the color of the red better, it has a few more scratches. They're both AGS001s, which means they have a dull screen, but they're both in working order. I'm gonna switch out this red one. Both the screws have magnetic tips. Let's open this thing up. Here's the battery. And if you've not changed it yet, now's probably a good time. Six screws hold this case together, none of which are hidden by stickers. They just come straight off. And here's the board. Nice. Three more screws hold this board in. Now we can carefully lift the board. To remove the ribbon cable, we can pull down on the white tabs, then slowly pull it out. I didn't put mine away since I went for a slash. I am always ready for my Beverly. Now I can take out the speaker. And this piece of foam. Now we can start to assemble the new SP. Before we do that, I'm just going to clean some contacts. Now we can pull off the film. And then insert the screen. As we want this to be fairly clean, we'll get rid of this tape. And then we can screw it back together. We could use the rubber membranes of the original, but I want to test the new ones. Let's see how they are. Remove all this, insert the speaker, and then to attach the display. The ribbon cable needs to be turned once over before you do so. I wasn't expecting this, but we actually need two more pieces from the old SP. And to get them, we need to open this up. The parts we needed were the actual hinges, which weren't included in the kit, so I'll borrow them from the old SP. Once the dust covers are removed or destroyed, we can continue to unscrew. The parts we need are these things in here. We'll push in the small tabs, pull off the cap, then press in from the inside with a screwdriver. and then put it straight in to the new case. This needs a bit of force. Same again for the other side. Here's the cover for the hinge, and it needs one screw from the other side. Before we screw in the main board, we need to do a little bit of soldering. Flux, tin the wire, now we can solder. It's only one wire, and it's a very easy job. Now that's done, we can screw the board down. Now to give it a quick test. I'm going to pop on the back, and also place in the battery. And it's looking good. If we had some issues here, we could take some steps back. But as we're fine, we're going to finish off with the other screws. And the stickers. The sticker on the back is not one-to-one, -one, but it's pretty close. Now to pop in the dust covers. If you don't want them falling out, use a dot of super glue. Now for the covers on the hinge. Ooh. Just look at the difference. 
Sammy really gets me so very hard. After seeing her, I can break through walls with my dong. The new case, buttons, and D-pad all feel fantastic. Honestly, you'd have no idea this was a third-party product. And the screen is beautiful. This mod alone has made the AGS-001 playable. We get 15 steps of brightness. We can also change this by touching the bottom of the screen. There's even an extra menu if we hold down the brightness button. We get extra color modes, as well as pixel effects. Let's get to some gameplay. Here's Crash Bandicoot. Pokemon. And Mario Land 2. If you listen very carefully, there's a high-pitched whine as we change colour modes. But these options are very similar to what we have on a Super Game Boy. What the heck? Ah, that's right. Push R to stretch the screen. Do we recommend this mod? Hell yeah. This kit totally transforms the SP into something I now want to sneak into work. For toilet breaks. Moving into the back garden now, I just want to introduce this game Rhythm Tengoku. This is also known as Rhythm Heaven, but the Game Boy Advance version was not released outside Japan. If you like games such as Parappa the Rapper, or maybe WarioWare, this one should be right up your alley. Here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon, we appreciate your ongoing support. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra! Catch you on the next one.